Welcome back. We've still got a lot to do here in Michelin, but we need to have fun. And we've done the Castle of Mirrors with all the people we could, so we're starting this part with Tappy here. Let's see what this is about. Phew, welcome. We let you bring any ingredients you want to our drink stand. Any ingredients? So I'd not cart your favourites on over, stir up your own original cocktail and enjoy a glass. Of course, we only permit miners to drink non-alcoholic cocktails. We're very strict on that. Mixing up an original cocktail sounds like it'd be a fun activity to do with someone. Who would be interested? Hmm. I mean, I'd like to see your Toa's events during this, but it's very much like... Let's... Let's go with Machias here. Reen took out his Arcus and called up his chosen companion. They then turned in their ticket and started making a cocktail together. Alright. I brought a lot of ingredients for us to choose from, so now we've just got to figure out where to start. Yeah, let's mix up the best cocktail we can. You're welcome to use the ingredients we have on hand, too. Can't wait to try your concoction. The two of them worked together to make a cocktail. They settled on which ingredients would complement the drink best through trial and error. And after a while, their creation was complete. We call this concoction of ours Ost Style Whiskey Latte. So it's a coffee flavored cocktail. It's always a real hit. Ugh. I don't know why I got Mackies for this. Yeah, they served over at a local pub in Ost District, right near my house. The taste of the whiskey is phenomenal paired with the fragrant roasted coffee. It warms you right down to your soul. I added some sugar and milk to my favourite coffee beans for this one in particular. Perfect after a long day's work. This cocktail has really got your name written all over it, Machias. Like right there, it says it. I really like what you've done here. It's really unique. In fact, I think I'll add it to our menu. Now don't we enjoy a glass together on that bench? Enjoy the rest of your evening. I'm just curious what toes would be. <laughs> the two enjoyed their special cocktail by basking in the light of the lanterns, the sound of waves filling their ears. After a while, they parted ways and returned to what they had been doing. Or did they? Because... Afterward, Reen decided to walk back with Machias. They enjoyed the night air along the way, stretching out the evening as long as they could. And then... Reen, if it's alright with you, I'd like to extend my thanks. Well, of course it's alright, but what for, Machias? We faced many obstacles together, and we've overcome each and every one. As an inspector, I've had to question my morals, my sense of justice, even my own father. I've matured, not just as a guardian of the law, but as a person. Even through all the ignorant acts and callow remarks I made back in our school days, you always stood by me. So, what else can I do but thank you? Ah, oh, Machias. And thank you for the sentimental type. But you know, I should say the same about you. You've always been there to remind me to push forward. No matter how tough the circumstances, you always find a way to look ahead and take the first step. I need that strength for yours again tomorrow, Machias. I'm counting on you. And I you. Let's show them what we're made of. Our principles and beliefs are built from everything we've been through. That's why I know they'll never fail us. As Reen and Machias, his bond deepened, they both became stronger. That's what I want. Awareness, Kaon. You'd think I know how to say that at this point, but nope. ATS, ADF, Arts, Delay. Like, again, just with this, with all this, all this art stuff. Right, so, where were we and what did we need to do? We needed the reception here, didn't we? Because we hadn't spoken to you three. Oh, hello, Reen. Hope you're having a little fun. Did you come to get a reading from the fortune teller? They say she's never wrong. That's quite a reputation. It doesn't seem like they know that the fortune teller is Beryl. As long as they're having fun, what's the harm? I see you've got the gang back together. 
That's right. It's as though we're back at Thor's again. Right down to Mint's mysterious tardiness. Strange, she seemed so excited when I suggested we all walk around together. She would have got distracted along the way. You know how she is. I hope we can meet the fortune teller soon. Something I really want to ask. About Alan, I imagine. Curse's effects on him still aren't letting up. No, I've tried calling him so many times today already. I just can't get through. He must already be on his way to the front lines. I'm so sorry. We've all been worried about him. No, I'm sorry for bringing it up. I didn't mean to put a damper on the evening. I've asked so many people for advice and assistance. I'm sure Alan will be alright. That's right. I'm not to worry about it, Reen. And enjoy your evening. Take care of Bridget. You take the time to relax and have fun for a change. Bridget. Uh, okay, that's fair. I'll leave you all to it. Mint is running late. I suppose she did say she had a lot of work to do. Though knowing her, she probably got distracted somewhere. You know how she is. No matter how much it seems she's growing up. That part of her is still a student. People say that the fortune teller here's predictions are uncannily on the mark. Perhaps she can give us advice on what to do about Alan. <laughs> Any fortune teller could. It'd definitely be Beryl. Oh, Rosine. I heard that the repairs on Gaius's macabre were complete. Your date? Yes, thanks to everyone's help, we completed repairs a few days ago. We did a test flight to scout the pails. Everything felt just as it should. That's great to hear. I imagine you still have a lot to do to prepare for tomorrow. Don't worry, Father Thomas and I will have everything we need. It's my duty as a squire of the Grounds Ritter and a student of Thor's, and my pleasure as a friend. Thank you, Rosie. Which has actually been asking me for advice on something for a little while now. With the pairs on the macabre complete, I thought today would be the perfect day to hear her out. You try to enjoy your day too, Reen. I will try. Do 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 do. like weird not facing the right way from my perspective it's like i want to run upwards up here but looking the other way just won't happen though will it won't happen not unless i break the camera which is possible hmm. it's canon i do enjoy canon being here it's, it's adorable right we've done you guys so you look like you've been walking around most of the park you feeling hungry our machette grill will fill that hole in your stomach it's the perfect balance of meat and vegetables. Great way to fill up. Don't eat vegetables, mate. I'm gonna get it, though. I'll help him out, you know. Hello, Randy. Are you calling who I think you're calling? I'm doing all right here. Make sure you go to bed. Had a good hour. No staying up late drinking. <laughs> I know. I think I'd sleep better if I got a good night kiss. Doesn't matter if it's over the communicator. A kiss? Ugh. Guess it can't do any harm since it's just over the communicator. What are you talking about, you idiot? G good night. <laughs> Never change, Mariah. So, how long have you been listening, in, Rain? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. The person you were just talking to, her name's Mariah? We used to work at the Crossbow Guardian Force together. Kept running into each other, but she's working for the Resistance now. <laughs> Probably sounded like a couple of kids just now. Kind of makes you laugh, huh? Not at all, Randy. Looks like you really care about her. I don't know about that. Besides, it's not like anything's gonna happen with things the way they are now. Anyway, let's worry about tomorrow instead. Okay, Randy. Hmm, looks like Teotot's as obsessed with Mishy as ever. Sure hope she won't be too worn out when we meet up with the others later. I've got to double check, or triple check even. It's like you could have more. Nope, there we go. So where is Teo? There she is. Actually, you're here. The one and only. I don't really know why, but I was invited too. Probably something to do with offering my services in the operation tomorrow. Tomorrow's operations, huh? See, that's encouraging to hear. Well, I'm taking care of Jingo and all that. It's putting duty before mirrors and all that, but... Tonight's your chance to really spread your wings, Ashen Chevalier. I fully intend to do just that. You're asking me to rent out the whole of Michelin for a send-off party instead of the usual payment. Oh, well, it's no wool off my pump. Unless Jingo's happy, I guess it was worth it. 
actually seems to really care for Jingo. I don't know what tomorrow will bring, so we should make the most of tonight. Hmm. Alright. I just don't get why they're so fired up. What's the big deal about some dumb Mishy show? This is kitty stuff. Yona, did you say something? Because if you want me to post your dirty little secrets all over the Yobble Net, feel free to keep talking. Keep that camera steady, you better capture every minute of this. Oh, and while you're making up for your stupidity, get me more cola and chips. They're good stuff. What am I, your slave or something? <laughs> you really picked the wrong girls to piss off. Damn it, am I a slave or what? A slave driver's too scary to say no to. They really sucks. Uh, it's your own fault, mate. Can't believe we get an advanced performance of the latest Mishy show. This is amazing, Jingo. Seriously, it's gonna be a hell of an episode. Mecha Mishy only showed up a few months back. So surprised when they made up so fast. Then boom, things got real crazy. Can't afford to miss this. You know so much about Mishy. Are you a big fan, Jingo? Are you kidding? This is all super basic stuff. Alright then. Should we cheer Mishy on? Yeah, ready when you are. Yay, Mishy. You're really two peas in a pod. I knew you were one of us, Jingo, but I truly never would have guessed that you were this big a fan of Mishy. Perhaps I have finally found a true friend for life. Possibly. Munch, munch, woof. Cerberus gobbled up a large piece of meat on the bone. Looks like you're really enjoying that, huh? We're working hard, but I'm afraid I'll need to ask for your help tomorrow, too. Woof. Much woof. They're doing monthly events to spice up the Mishy show. They post the schedule on the Orbital Net, as you'd expect in this day and age. Indeed, this day and age. Let's have a look, then. Me hee hee, what game shall we play today? I have something important to say. My real name is Mishen Mishenida? Mishenidi? Everyone thought I died when I was an infant. But I am your brother. Oh, that's a lot to take in. But now that you mention it, I do remember having a brother a long time ago. What? Seriously? This is a shocking development. Yeah, it's so exciting. There are complex reasons why I'm a robot now. Hm, let's not worry about that now. We gotta celebrate our long due reunion. That's right, brother. Okay, everyone. Let's sing together. Let's dance and make a wish, eh? With Mishy! Hey. <laughs> Looks like everyone's having a good time. do 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 how did I become a robot, you ask? Stay tuned for more shocking, Mishy-related plot twists in the future. Yeah... No way, Mecha Mishy is my brother? Mehehe, <laughs> I don't think I could be happier. But that, that means Michette is also... <sighs> my god. Those are some shocking facts. Well, I know everyone's gonna be alright, as long as Mishy's there. I wanna know now. Just, what kind of dark past do you think... Mish... Mishni... Mishnider is hiding! Just look at him. So brave and strong, he's gotta have a tragic backstory. Yay, Mishy! It's good to see those two having fun. We'll check with Jingo, so I'm sure it's the same, but, you know. We'll just... Triple, double, triple, or quadruple checking here, so... In today's show, they're gonna reveal the real identity of Mecha Mishi. They did. That made arrangements for the show that was supposed to start next month for tonight. Wow, I'm so glad Mum gave in and brought us here. What it took was some whining. <laughs> oh dear. Mecha Mishi's awesome. Didn't want along that Mecha Mishi wasn't evil. That's what they want you to think. This is some shocking facts. Yep, that's the same again. Oh, hey, Instructor Rain. You'll have to excuse us. 
We did, didn't mean to interrupt your party. Once the kids heard about it, they just wouldn't take no for an answer. Eh, don't worry about it. You're more than welcome to join us. I'm sure it's been a while since you got to spend some quality time with your family anyway, huh, Yuna? It really has. Even Dad managed to get the evening off for a change. And having Michelin more to ourselves is just icing on the cake. That it is. You guys have fun now. Of course, this theme park is the pride of Crossbell. I hope you'll enjoy it too, Instructor. <laughs> I sure am so far. Having the run of Michelin is something I never imagined, even in my wildest dreams. This place is the pride of Crossbell. Hope you have a great time, Instructor. I wonder if that happened at Disney during the pandemic, like just... Like maybe like they let in like one person they had the run of the park for the day or something. And you may as well when you're doing the testing and stuff. Because you still need to make sure the park works properly, even though when like no one was using it. A lot of the children love Mishy. They want to see all the other attractions too. It's gonna be a busy night. Make sure you also enjoy yourself. I'll try. Ice cream and crepes! Ice cream on a summer evening is even more delicious than usual. Why don't you try one of our yummy Mishy ice creams? It's cute to look at, and most importantly, delicious. She has poison as well, apparently. That's that's a hell of a thing. <clears throat> um, Shara, yeah. have you considered just ever so slightly s s slowing your pace here? By drinking like uh, fish with alcoholism. Yup. Ah, don't be such a wet blanket. First time we get to go out in a while, and you want to ruin all the fun? No, no, it is hardly what I. Uh, I suppose there's no harm in cutting loose this evening. Now we to join you in the festivities. I don't think so. You need to take it easy. Remember what the doctor told you about giving your body time to heal? Fair, I suppose. <laughs> don't worry. When all this is over and you're fully recovered. We'll go out for a real wild night. We'll call up Ina. Get all of Labelle's best bars and potty till dawn. <laughs> as tempting as that sounds, I wonder if we could dial it back just uh, a little tonight. Did... You say something? Nothing at all, my dearest. I wonder who this Ina is. Anyway, it really seems like only Shara and Mueller could get away with treating the prince the way they do. Oh hey, while you're here, there's something I've been meaning to give you, Reen. Here, it's my Pom Party account ID. Ah, Prince Oliver was the missing one. Let's play a game or two sometime. Oh, great, thank you. You know, Shanna, you really are my one and only. Given the events this evening has in store, I'll keep you company as you drink. But I'll make sure you do so in moderation. You're gonna pour, or you're gonna keep talking. Right, here you are. Sherazard looks like she's already had plenty to drink. But Sarah asked for her, so I should at least try. Sorry to interrupt you, but I have something to ask. Reen explained that he was looking for participants to take part in the drinking contest. <laughs> I see. Facing off against Sarah would be fun. I'll definitely take part. Um, don't feel like you have to. Looks like you've had a lot to drink already. <laughs> don't worry about me. Go straight to my cheeks, but I'm just starting out. Are you sure, Your Highness? I don't think you're going to be able to stop Shadow when she's like this. I have preparations that need to be made. I ask you to watch over her for me. Yes, please don't worry. I'm holding the contest at the beach, so peace it over when you're ready, Sherazard. You got it. Our drinking contest participants are all here, it seems. Maybe I should report to Sarah before we kick things off. There's nine of us. You really put a lot of work into recruiting all these gals. <laughs> I was wondering if I went overboard. Well, we don't have much time. So let's go with a tournament style. We'll have three people in each group, with the last woman standing moving on to the final match. We'll use some strong alcohol so we can declare a winner faster. Oh dear, it wasn't before long that the participants of the drinking contest assembled on the beach. Why is Kia here? Tournament style, eh? Very well. Look forward to taking you on, Crimson Roselia, Duvali the Swift. Well, Golden Rakshasha, you're far better than me with a sword. Let's see how we fare with alcohol in hand. On the honor of my title, the Swift, 
I should drink enough for both me and my lord. If you haven't forgotten, my liver is 800 years old. It's only gotten stronger with each century. Best of luck to the both of you, Lucy. Adel. You too, Cecile. Let's see if we can't have some fun with this. It appears I'm in the same group as Lady Sarah and Shenazard, after all. Considering we chose them at random, the groups look like they'll make for an interesting game. By the way, you okay there, Sherazard? Take it you've already gotten your fair share of alcohol tonight. Eh, don't you two worry about a thing. It's just barely the start of our fun. Anyway, I'm going to beat you, Purple Lightning. Since we're the same age, we should be pretty evenly matched. And I've heard some things about you too, Sharon, from Joshua and Ren. <laughs> things are really going to heat up now. You bet they are. I'm going to have to knock you both flat on the ground. Oh, please be gentle with me now, Lady Sarah. Alright, I'm going to start with Roselia's team. So, let the drinking begin. Be 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 be. Group 1, Roselia, Duvely, and Aurelia. Each burned with competitive spirit in the face of their challenge. Then, shortly after the drinking began... <laughs> I really must be getting old. This is hitting me much harder than it used to. Perhaps this 800 year old liver of mine has finally turned against me after all. I'll have you know that in my prime I would have never lost to the likes of you lot. Oh, come on, you're just sounding like a sore loser now, Grandmother. Hey, I'm still in this, I'm just fine. Come on, I'm in a much bigger style than the Golden Rocks. Yep. I think we can declare the winner here. Sharing drinks with the Elder of the Hexen Clan and the Head of the Stalritter was certainly unforgettable. I'm just sorry it ended so soon. You're right about that. Well then, I declare the winner of this round to be General Le Guin. Group 2. Cecile, Lucy, Adel. The con... Test. Starts out with happy drinking and chatting, but before long... I can't drink any more. I know, I've certainly had my fill of alcohol for a while. I'd love to talk more, but I don't think I can keep going on in this contest. Oh my, well, that is an awful shame. But you shouldn't push yourselves too hard. You three didn't go as hard as the first group. You had your drinks down quite well all the same. That's a good try, Lucy. You would have thought Adel was such a hard drinker, though. You can't say I'm not surprised, too. That said, I can officially announce that Adel is our round two winner. Group three, Sarah, Sherazard, and Sharon. Sherazard had already been drinking, so it didn't take long before she lagged behind Sarah and Sharon. I drank too much. I swear my brain is trying to convince me. I'm just sitting right across the table, so I'll have to call it quits here. <laughs> hey, Sarah, what gives? Please be gentle with me. Pfft. You drank all that booze and then even a little worse off. Explain so. I don't so much have an explanation, if I may be honest. With Sherazard having quit now, it'd be my pleasure to pour all the alcohol we have left for you, Lady Sarah. Bring it on, I'll drink it. No big deal. My, my, but you don't look too well, Lady Sarah. You don't have to keep going, you know. Shut up. God be you, I can't lose now. Carry me that ball. I don't want to die my god better. I don't think this one will be enough. At this rate, we may keep going for another ten. Ten full bottles, Lady Sarah. To be honest, I'm not sure this much is enough to judge if you're as strong as I or not. I think you should throw in the towel, Sarah. Give it your best shot. There's just some drinkers out there that transcend what we mere mortals can grasp. Uh, God, I, I refuse to accept that. Well, I'm just going to call it that. Sharon's the winner on this one. Oh dear. From there, the winners of the three groups began the final round. 
They continue to drink hard alcohol, as if it was water. Time passed without a clear winner. I've never drank so much before. It turns out I'm much stronger than I'd estimated. Hmm, I think some sweeter alcohol would make for a nice change of pace. But well, I don't think we're going to have a winner anytime soon. We're out of booze. Oh, it is. <laughs> Excuse me. This is all the alcohol we have for the contest. We still have some other customers, so as we might call it a night here. Of course, sorry for exhausting so much of your supply. I think we're going to have to declare it a draw between these three. <laughs> That's a shame, but if we're out, then we're out. I did really want to see Adel drunk, but what can you do? There'll be another chance, but these three seem undefeatable. Next time, we should get the guys involved too. Agreed. Next time, we should invite Wallace. Maybe Master Reen and Lady Elisa will take part next time as well. I think I'd be knocked out before everyone else got started. Just get a look at the rest of the competition. Wondering if we should have stopped them while they were ahead. I don't feel so well. Someone bring me water. Hey. You know, I, uh, it's, uh, Head to the little sword maiden's room. Nothing good ever comes of ignoring your limits. How are you feeling, Cecile? I'm fine. I'm just worried about everyone else. I gave out all the medicine I had on hand, but it doesn't seem like it was enough. Not about you, sir. Are you okay? Still got a little booze left. Shouldn't let it go to waste. Sherazog, give it a break already. Oh. Everyone smells so much like alcohol. But we have such a big day tomorrow. They don't get too messed up from all that drinking. Some of them obviously drank way over their limits. I think they should at least get some rest as soon as possible. I wouldn't worry too much about that. Your Highness, now you mentioned it, you did say you had some kind of contingency plan, right? That's right. I assume that something like this might come to pass. So Razine and some other familiar faces aided me in whipping up this special concoction. This medicine is amazing. It's like it's actually washing the alcohol out of my system. Oh, so this must be the... Diaset's secret I've heard about. Except in church has some nifty little formulas under its belt. So this is what you used before you went drinking with Ina? Yes. If you take a dosage before drinking, you won't get swept up in the throes of inebriation even a bit. Of course, it's also effective if you take it after the deed's been done. Perhaps with this remedy on my side, I can challenge you again, Shara. You know, I think we've all had enough of drinking contests now. Either way, thanks for the help, Your Highness. Good callback as well. Of course, I have no doubt they would have recovered with a mere good night's sleep. However, I want everyone to enjoy this night to its fullest. You should do the same, Reen. Enjoy yourself while you can. Thank you. I will. Lovely. Ooh! Another one? Jeez, right, let's speak to you guys. I was so confident, you know. Didn't think anyone could reach my level when it came to drinking. Losing despite being the one who brought up the contest in the first place is just the lamest thing. We did have some really tough competition. From my perspective, all participants are seriously heavyweights to a worrying level. <laughs> I take that as a compliment. Anyway, thanks to His Highness's efforts, all the alcohol is out of my system. It's time to start drinking from the beginning. They, they were out. Then maybe I should avoid causing any more problems for the establishment. Yeah. Eh, yeah, can't win them all. Just could choke down a nearby beer or something. Just try not to overdo things, okay? I believe I lost. Drinking's supposed to be my thing. Who even am I anymore? We've only covered one type of booze this time. If we'd gone with another drink, things could have been different. 
I'm happy to challenge you again whenever you, whenever you like. Don't. Just don't. Truthfully, I didn't think I'd be able to drink nearly that much. I'm interested in discovering what the true limits of my tolerance are, but... <laughs> we'll just have to leave that as something to look forward to once we've overcome what awaits us tomorrow. Yeah, I'd like to see myself, honestly. <laughs> then it's a promise, Master Rune. Perhaps, at the time, you will truly be my master, hmm? I hope that day will come too. Well, in that case, I wait it eagerly. Right, that's the same again. Right, who else is around here who was in the drinking contest? Speaking of Randy, I think he into it. Oh. That was the same again, wasn't it? Is anyone else going to actually update? Hello. Someone definitely did update. Right, I'm actually going to end this part here then. In the next part, we'll see about Anton and maybe some other people around, see if they updated with the drinking contest having happened. Entirely possible. So we'll see you then. Ta-da for now.